Dream lose 77 to 89 to the New York Liberty in their first matchup of the season. Let's talk about the game. After a long losing streak, Atlanta finally got back into the win column last time out beating Dallas. New York is looking to make it a two game win streak after a fairly up and down last few games. Uh, they beat the Sun in their last game, which is all the momentum the Liberty need going into this game. Now for the Dream, the injury report is looking about the same as last time. No Hayes, Coffey, Wheeler, Vaughn, or Wallace. But on the bright side, both Aaron McDonald and Maya Caldwell are starting. On the dark side, Sabrina Ionescu, Maureen Johannes, Crystal Dangerfield, Natasha Howard, and Seth Dolson are all starting for New York. Atlanta is wearing the best third jerseys in the league. Unfortunately, the Liberty are wearing dark colors as well. Green. Uh, so there is some contrast, but, well, you all know how I feel about the WNBA color rush at this point. At least it's Pride Night in Atlanta. It's easy to see the difference in play styles early in the game. New York is outmaneuvering, playing keep away, and cycling the ball to get their biggest shooting threats open. Atlanta is a little bit more physical, forcing their way to the net. It's kind of like a boxing match with one of them fighting on the inside and the other fighting on the outside. Unfortunately for this game, the outside fighter is winning. Several minutes go by and the Dream only have four points. New York has 17, and there's still four minutes left. Caldwell scores a much needed three to soften the blow, if only by a little, but AD answers with a three of their own, uh, but it doesn't stop New York from scoring their own threes, but it's something, it's hope. 33-16 after one, New York's highest first quarter score of the entire season, AD and Hillman have more points off the bench than any of the starters. The second quarter starts with more of the same, save for a big steal and two free throws by AD. McDonald and Montpremier take on some points of their own, finding some space, so maybe this can help turn things around. Apparently, Tanisha Wright is pretty damn good at motivating her players. Regardless of how the Dream finished this season, I think Wright is a definite candidate for Coach of the Year. Uh, the Dream surprisingly go on a 8-0 run, lasting just over two minutes. Monique Billings commits her third foul of the game at around the halfway point, though, and Nas Hillman gets her first personal. AD is having a pretty decent scoring night, 12 points at this stage of the game, 4th for 6 from the floor, 2-2 two, two on 3-pointers, a rebound, an assist, and a steal. And right around this time is when Ryan Howard starts heating up, she's at 12 points as well, and scoring from absolutely everywhere, 3-point range, close up, at the free throw line. It's 53-43 and 43 at the half. The Dream is still behind, but it's not nearly as dire as it was a quarter ago. Atlanta is perfect at the free throw line, and Atlanta actually outscored New York that quarter 27 to 20. AD and Howard have half of the Dream's points for that game. As much as I love both of them, someone else is going to need to step up and carry some of the load. Going into the third quarter, McDonald continues the Dream's perfect night at the free throw line. Howard's three pointer finally brings the Dream to a single digit deficit, and Monique Billings is back to her old self on defense. Atlanta is definitely scoring again, but they're going to need a lot more defense than just Billings. They need another sustained run. Ryan Howard shows off her defensive side by blocking the crap out of Stephanie Dolson and making a mad dash to her net. And if she hadn't got blocked herself, I would call that the play of the game. Aerie shows some aggression on defense as well, swatting the ball every opportunity she gets, even if it doesn't always go through. She only has eight points at this stage of the game, but she is everywhere on the court and just contributing anywhere she possibly can. Beatrice Montpremier is an unsung hero herself. Third quarter almost over, and already uh, Montpremier has eight rebounds. Atlanta gets to within four points, a far cry from trailing by 19 earlier in the game. AD brings it down to only two. 68 to 64 to end the third. Atlanta is down by only four points. After scoring 33 in the first quarter, the Liberty managed only 35 over the next two. Also in attendance for this game, Atlanta native and former Atlanta Hawk Dwight Howard. In the fourth quarter, after some pretty good looks for Atlanta, they start struggling to finish off plays. In the third of her first five games with the Dream, AD has scored over 20 points. They would end the game with 23, leading all scores for either Atlanta or New York. New York started pulling away despite all that, though. They lead by 13 points with just a few minutes left. And even with the outcome really not in doubt, the Dream are still playing competitively. They don't let up as if the game is a lot closer than it is. Like, at this point, they're playing for respect, and I think they're certainly getting it. Whether they're up by 20 points or down by just as much, they're going to play hard and they're going to make the opponents earn that win. 89-77 Liberty, the final score. But on the bright side, AD's 23 points were a career high and they pretty much stole the show for Atlanta in the fourth. 
Niles Hillman, her three steals tonight. Coming into the game, she had three total through 14 games. Like I keep saying, it may not reflect all that much in the scores here, but this team is absolutely being built for the future. Now, if I could get uh, serious for a moment, by now we've all heard the sad news regarding the end of Roe v. Wade during Pride Month of all times. Every team, several other teams in other sports, and the league itself have all voiced their disappointment and support for people to make their own decisions with their own bodies for their own health. They stand with those who have and probably will be affected by this insult by our Supreme Court, and they're going to keep advocating for health equity, access to the health care that people need, no matter who they are or where they are. And I'm going to do the same. Anybody out there who is hurt by this decision or maybe in the future, I'm with you. I got your back and you have my full support. There's not a whole lot I can physically do with this uh, platform or any platform of mine for that matter. But if just a kind word helps, even only a little, I will gladly provide it. Just keep supporting each other as best as you can. Her body, her choice, end of discussion. The next dream game is Sunday at home against the 12-6 and 6 Connecticut Sun. It's an early game, so the recap won't be up until much later, but it will definitely be up there. I'll see you then.